Welcome to our channel. Today we will learn about the numericals of chapter 4 that is the refraction of light at plane surfaces. Very simple numericals are there. Just we will start. So let us start. First sum is here. First sum. The speed of light in air. The speed of light in air is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second calculate the speed of light in glass the refractive index of glass is given so we know refractive index in general refractive index is equals to speed of light in air upon speed of light in medium that formula we will use so first of all we will write what informations are given to us so the speed of light in air that we represented by C which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Calculate the speed of light in glass. So V let uh, it is V suffix G is to be calculators and refractive index of glass that is mu for glass is given that is 1.5. So we know since mu is equals to C upon Vg, G for glass, that is the refractive index is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in air or vacuum to the speed of light in glass or medium. Glass is here, so we will apply glass. So just both the values are uh, given to us. So mu is uh, 1.5 is equals to C is 3 into 10 raised to 8 upon meter per second I can write upon V suffix G. So we can write it 3 1.5 can be written as 3 by 2 is equals to 3 into 10 raised to 8 upon Vg. So 3, 3 get cancelled. So we are getting velocity of light in glass will be will be 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. So this sum is over. Now question number 2. Question number 2. The speed of light in diamond that is medium we can say is this. What is the refractive index? Mu is to be find out. Speed of light in air it is already given. So we can write what informations are given. A speed of light in diamond. A speed of light in diamond. Diamond. That is I will say it as V. It is uh, 1, 2, 5, triple zeros kilometer per second. So we have to convert into meter per second. So we can write V is equals to 1.25 into 10 raised to 3 to 5 and 5, 3, 8. So 10 raised to 8 meter per second. It is already in kilometer per second. So kilometer, 1 kilometer is 1000 meter. So that part we did. 1000 matlab 10 raised to 3 and 5 zeros from here as I place the decimal over here. So this term and second is given a speed of uh, light in air that is uh, a speed of light in air that is already given C is equals to 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second that is given and we have to calculate the refractive index so we know refractive index is equals to c by v so refractive index will be c is 3 into 10 raised to 8 upon 1.25 into 10 raised to 8 these two terms get cancelled so we are getting mu is equals to 3 by 1.25 which will be uh, simplify karenge to it will be 12 to 30 uh, 12 to 24 6 
ओके ऑलमोस्ट म्यू इज इक्व टू टू पॉइंट फोर सिंस इट इज द रेसियो ऑफ टू स्पीड्स टू वेलॉसिटीज सो यूनिट विल बी कैंसल सो फाइनली नो यूनिट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ वाटर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एयर इज फोर बाई थ्री वट इज द रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ एयर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाटर उल्टा हो जाएगा तो इट इज गिवेन सिंस वट इज गिवेन टू अस गिवेन रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ऑफ वाटर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डब्ल्यू आर टी With respect to air, we will represent it mu refractive index of water with respect to air. That is the way to write it. It is four by three, and we have to calculate refractive index of air with respect to water. So mu air with respect to water that is to be calculated. So we know formula since mu. W A is equals to one upon mu A W. Or ulta kar le hum isko. So mu A W will be one upon mu W A. And so mu that is refractive index of air with respect to water is equals to one upon. And that term is already given four by three. so it will be 3 by 4 which is 0.75 so finally refractive index of air with respect to water is 0.75 okay that answer we get now question number 4 a ray of light of wavelength ray of light of wavelength lambda is given ray of light of wavelength suffers refraction from air to glass means this is refractive index uh, it is the wavelength of light in air and in glass so taking this is given refractive index of glass with respect to air is given find the wavelength of light in glass so what informations are given we will write since refractive index of glass with respect to air is 3 by 2 and we know हमें पता है सिंस म्यू इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वेवलेंथ तो वी कैन से देर फोर रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स दैट इज ऑफ ग्लास विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एयर दैट विल बी दैट विल बी हमें ग्लास चाहिए और एयर चाहिए हाँ तो लेमडा विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एयर अपॉन लेमडा विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ग्लास सो एवरी टर्म्स आर गिवेन हमें म्यू ए जी दिया है दैट इज थ्री बाई टू इज इक्वल्स टू लेमडा ए दैट इज फाइव फोर जीरो जीरो एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग अपॉन लेमडा जी इज टू बी कैलकुलेट हमें लेमडा ए दिया है दैट इज फाइव फोर जीरो जीरो एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग यूनिट सो वी विल गेट थ्री लेमडा जी इज इक्वल्स टू टू इंटू फाइव फोर जीरो जीरो कैंसिल कर दें थ्री एटीन यस सो एटीन टू जो थर्टी सिक्स जीरो जीरो एंगस्ट्रॉम यूनिट इट इज वेवलेंथ ऑफ लाइट इन क्लास मीडियम ओके सो दिस वॉज द नोमेडिकल ऑफ पार्ट ए नाउ पार्ट सी that is the prism based on the prism so everything is given already theek hai we can start a ray of light incident at an angle of incidence i is given angle of incidence so given angle of incidence i is equals to 48 degree on a prism of refracting angle that is angle of prism a is 60 degree suffers minimum deviation minimum deviation calculate the angle of minimum deviation everything is already given since minimum deviation is equals to 2i minus a so this is the formula already we have discussed 
so it is 2 into i is 48 minus 60 degree so 96 minus 60 that is 36 degree it is delta minimum it is a minimum deviation that we get the answer now next is the question number two what should be the angle of incidence for a ray of light which suffers minimum deviation delta m is given now delta m minimum deviation so delta m is 36 degree 36 degree delta m through an equilateral prism for the equilateral prism angle of prism is 60 degree it is hidden part not directly given so what should be the angle of incidence i is to be find out i am a find out karna hai. so we know the relation we know the relation uh, abhi ye wala. we can write delta m is 2i my 2i minus a since delta m is equals to 2i minus a so 2i will be a plus delta m so i will be a plus delta m by 2 so everything is given so a is uh, 60 degree and angle of minimum deviation is 36 by 2 so angle of incidence will be 36 uh, plus 60 96 by 2 so it will get 48 degree this is okay so uh, sum is over thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you